And so, Katie, you've been coaching habit change for years, and there's a lot of interest in cutting back on drinking. What are some of the reasons people are sober curious? Honestly, Margaret, people just want to feel better. They want more energy, and taking away alcohol or reducing alcohol is such a health boost. Yeah, and, you know, we're going to end this segment with the Drynamics program, all that information. But right now, you've offer, offered up a bit of a beginner's guide for sober October success. First, you recommend a nervous system detox. What could that entail? Well, the nervous system is kind of responsible for everything about the way that we feel. So we really wanna make sure to give it some love during our sober break. So you can do that with meditation, breath work, exercise, massage. I like cold showers. And what all of these practices are gonna do is they'll support your nervous system to have more pause or for you to have more pause between how you're experience, experiencing something in your environment. Like let's say you're on a bad date and you feel some kind of way and your reaction is to then pour a drink when you said you weren't going to have one. So by centering the nervous system, by supporting the nervous system, you'll get more of a pause and you'll be able to be in a more um, rational instead okay. of a rational yeah. space. That makes sense. And then you, you coach people basically to get uncomfortable as a way to improve stress tolerance. Um, what is that? Go into that a little bit. Yeah, well, we know chronic stress is terrible for us, but small stress is actually really good for us. So if you think like um, you're building a muscle, you've got to pump the iron until it burns and your heart's beating and you're sweating because we know that builds muscle, that that uncomfortableness builds the muscle. Well, the uh -huh. same thing can happen with letting go of drinking. Right. So used to like every time you drink, or every time you socialize having a drink, taking it away can actually feel like kind of uncomfortable. It can be very uncomfortable. But if you face it again and again, you get more resilient. You get more confident. Right. Building emotional resilience is a good skill. And then there's also a community of people out here that are, you know, doing these same things. You recommend connecting with those like-minded people. What should we keep in mind there? Yeah, I mean, I think the easiest place to start is just on social media. There are groups on every platform for Sober Curious and Sober. There's local groups, there's national groups, there's international groups. So get into those spaces and like actually engage, post, comment, DM. I've made some real life, long, long, lifelong friends out of uh, just connecting over sobriety yep. on and those spaces. And, and then whether they end up using your program or people are just exploring their uh, sober October possibilities, what do you find happens to people when they experience life on the other side of alcohol? What do you see? I mean, so much can happen. So if a person is feeling a little stuck in their life and they happen to be a drinker, removing that alcohol is going to change a lot. First, it's just organ repair, head to toe. Every part of you is going to heal and repair. So that's just going to change the way you feel in all ways physically. But what I hear the most from people is their surprise about the amount of time that they get back. We're so busy. We don't seem to have time for anything. And it starts to feel like you have a three-day weekend every weekend. So you're going after your goals more you're going after that relationship that small business and really figuring out what it is that you love and doing more of it yeah and it's just incredible when you look around the momentum that this movement is gaining uh, any other encouraging words you'd have for the sober curious or just why this is uh this is such a big deal this month yeah, I mean, I got to say the number one um, thing to remember is this is not a punishment. So if you're taking a sober break, focus on the alcohol. Don't try to make it the month you do a diet, the month you give up caffeine, the month you stop spending money. Just focus on the alcohol, build a positive relationship to that break from drinking with lots of rewards, and you'll look forward to doing it again and then again, and it'll become a regular part of your lifestyle. All right. Katie, thank you very much. We appreciate it. And you can secure your spot in Drynamics 2024 by enrolling. That opens up on November 1st. We'll have the Drynamics website and all that information on accesscarolina.com.